spot five. There's two parts of spot five. We're gonna start with the first part where we wanna talk about how to take care of worms in your own house. We, when you buy a pre-made bin from us, it's just a 17 gallon bin. It works great indoors or outdoors in some place that's in full shade. We're gonna show you as we walk through here that we keep all of our worms outside all year round. So they don't have to be inside, but it's easier in Arizona to keep them inside. If you want to, um, a far easier way to keep worms than in one of our bins is to do them directly in the ground. I have this uh, indoor, uh, or I have this uh, constructed habitat because I want you to take a look at it and, and see what we're doing. In both of these cases, all we've done is dug down about a foot into the ground. We've put layers of green waste, anything that came out of your kitchen, uh, anything that you want to compost, and then we put a layer of brown stuff on it. Brown is anything that was a tree. And by putting it in the ground, the worms will actually live all year round. And they'll naturally come out and fertilize the areas around it. If you, you can see this is an herb bed, we have never fertilized this. We've never fertilized it. No herbicides, no pesticides, no commercial fertilizer. All we do is add compost uh, or, or green waste about once every week or two or three. We started with a pound of worms and the worms have now spread. When I reach in to the bin itself, you can see that there's worms in the mix. The worms will make their way into and outside of the area. Um, this one's a little bit dormant. So you come back here in another month or two and you'll see a lot more worms. But the worms will make their way out into the surrounding area and they'll fertilize everything that's in the surrounding area. So by having worms in an area where you can add compost or your green waste directly into the ground, the worms will go down to areas that are cool for them. They operate between 90 degrees and 30 degrees. And in Arizona, you never have to worry about the 30 degrees. Sometimes you have to worry about the 90 degrees, but if you dug down about a foot, you'd find that it's in the 65 or 70 degree area. So the worms always have a safe, comfortable place to go. Okay, so um, I had this built for me. It's got chicken wire on the outside. You can come look at it. It's a really super easy way to compost. I actually live in this little house and you can see that I have one of those just directly outside my house. And so when we finish our salad every day, we go outside, whatever's left goes in there, it feeds the worms, the worm feeds all the uh, material in it. So let's pretend that you don't want to build one of these or you have a raised bed or you have something like this. An equally easy way to do it, I bought this at the 99 cent store. They actually charged me a dollar. Um, if I <laughs> bought this at the 99 cent store. All you got to do is take this and bury it in your, raised, in, your, in your garden, in the ground, in your raised bed, Bury it completely up to the rim. Once a week, put your food scraps in there, put a pound of worms in there, they'll fertilize your entire garden. And they'll go for an area 10 feet by 10 feet easily. Okay? Now, some of you, I brought this out. Some of you may be tempted to buy one of these online. Don't. Bins work just as well. They're way cheaper. This is about 100, 110 bucks. And we happen to hate them. And the reason that we hate them is uh, worms are, they're living, breathing animals. They need air. And you can see that, particularly in Arizona, the way this stacks up, there's very little airflow. They get hot. Um, they're just really hard. They're hard to be hugely successful. These, they work, but it's hard to be hugely successful with these in Arizona. So we'd much rather, rather than $109, we'd much rather you spend 99 cents, uh, put this somewhere in your garden that's well shaded, uh, and it'll do essentially the same thing. I love set it and forget it processes. And this is one of those. I never have to remember to fertilize. I never have to remember to change soil because the worms will take care of all that for us. Okay? Questions? I'm just too that it gets buried into the All the way in the ground. Okay. And then, and, and the, uh, if you have a raised bed, you can put it in the bed so okay. that it's completely surrounded. Okay. But, um, and, and, I, and you could do that in one of these. Okay. Um, if you're going in the ground, then I would bury this in the ground, all the way in the ground. And then uh, we put a layer of shredded cardboard in the bottom. Green, green's covered with browns. Okay. 
I have one of those only big. Okay. And is there some way I could, uh, because you're right, in summer, no good. Yeah. Uh, is there a way I can kind of transpose that, take some of the parts and pieces away? and? Yeah, I mean, just add air. Just, add, add, just punch holes in it. Go get a drill and just punch a bunch of holes in it. Oh, there you go. And that'll solve the problem for it. Okay. You can see that this... But I wouldn't mind putting it in the garden. I kind of like yeah, that Yeah, when idea. this gets... So those things work great in the garden. Same same sort of thing. Is, that's what I was going to say. Can't I just change Absolutely. Oh, just take, just take that. The boom. Take that, put it in the garden. Put Got it in three it. or four different places. It'll I think work I'll do great. that instead. Um, I, I just go. we find that that to be really easy, really mm -hmm. effective, and they so the they parts. survive nicely all year it. round. Yeah, they survive nicely all like year it. round in Arizona.